Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. So this video is for senior three. The topic is English language from unit number nine. Chapter is the marketplace, which you can find on page number two to six. So the theme of this chapter is that this text is extracted from a story called Phantom Tollbooth, written by Norton Juster, which is about a young boy Milo who is very bored with his school and everything else. So what happens is that one day he finds a very large parcel in which he finds map and instructions for assembling the car, and Tollbooth gets inside. So what happens is Milo soon sets sets off in his little car, driving through a fantasy land to Dictionopolis, close to the Sea of Knowledge. What Dictionopolis is that? uh there's a market there which is about words and sentences and it's about reading and writing and very informative stuff so along the way he picks up a companion who is a dog with an alarm clock for a body and it is called talk and together they visit the market so the story starts with that milo and talk reaches the market and they could see crowds of people pushing and shouting their way among the stalls and they're buying stuff and they're selling stuff and trading and bargaining they could see sacks and boxes piled high waiting to be delivered to the ships that sailed to the sea of knowledge they could also hear voices of merchants the sellers shopkeepers loudly advertising their products milo and tuck walked around between the stalls looking at the wonderful assortment of words for sale they could see short words and easy ones for everyday use the long and important for special occasions and fancy words which were actually packed in individual gift boxes which you would use in royal decrees so the shopkeeper asked milo if he wants something and he suggested milo to have pronouns or special assortment of names Milo was so excited but Tok looked very tired as he had no interest in words and he was only looking for some bone so Milo searched for words and in the last he used some words quagmire flabbergast and upholstery Milo asked the price from the shopkeeper and when the shopkeeper told him the price Milo quickly put the words back on the shelf and he walked on then salesman also further advised him to take a few pounds of happies which he could use when he is wishing someone happy birthday or happy new year etc etc and then he suggested milo to also have a good package of goods which he could use for good morning good afternoon goodbye good evening milo really wanted to buy something but he only had one coin left which he needed to go back through the toll booth so he decided not to have anything and then far away he noticed a wagon which seemed different from other stalls so when he went there with his dog he could see words written do it yourself and inside the be inside there were 26 bins filled with all the letters from a to z the man in charge informed milo that he could form any words and pick any assort- assortment that he would like to buy and uh, it also comes with a special box of letters and punctuation marks and book of instructions He then told Milo that he could also taste letters and he gave Milo the letter A and when Milo tasted it the letter A tasted very sweet and delicious just as Milo thought it would taste like He then told Milo that all the letters taste really differently from each other but some of them taste really bad but then he told Milo that he should try the letter I and when Milo tried it it tasted very refreshing and when talk tried a c it was very crunchy just as they were talking a very large bee came which was twice the size of milo and the t- and the bee introduced himself and told them that it was called spelling bee and that he could spell anything milo asked if he could spell goodbye the bee further showed his spelling skills and asked them to think of the most difficult word and that he would spell it Milo suggested the word vegetable and gave 10 seconds to the bee. The bee in the end quickly spelled the word just in time and everyone was so excited and cheered. Milo was so impressed by the bee that he could spell everything and he also asked Milo that if he could spe- uh, and he also asked the spelling bee if he could spell anything to which the bee said yes. Then the bee told them that Just a few years back it was just an ordinary bee smelling flowers all day and wandering here and there but then the bee realized